And it obviously wasn't the prettiest one, but you get your first egg bowl victory. Just talk us through how you're feeling after one like that. You know, it was a good feeling, but like <clears throat> the first thing you said, it wasn't our best, you know, production on offense. You know, a lot of three, a lot of three and outs, not getting the fourth down when we when we get when we should get the fourth down, and it's <clears throat> it's really just the missed assignments. You know, O line had a few, I had a few, not getting to my check down, being, being too aggressive. I think um, not getting to my second progression when you know, like the one I forced to Elijah over the middle. I tried to. Um, predetermined that he was going to beat him and look to my next uh, pro progression and it was drum just streaking down the field wide open. So just taking a step back and being re uh, being able to just, you know, slow the mind down and taking what they give you. Go to Parrish. Matt, did uh, this game mean a little bit more uh, given how last year's game ended and, uh, and all that went along with that? Uh, no, no, you know, you know, I mean, for the people of Mississippi, of course, absolutely, 100%. But, you know, as our mindset is, you know, it's it's the next game. It's the most important game just because it is the next game. Don't treat it any different. You know, attack everything the same, and it's 100% in everything you do. And like I said, it's just treating it no different. Just go, just do what you usually do. That's it. Go to Tyler. Matt, can you talk to me a little bit about the, about the hat you're wearing right now? Let's see. Oh, we run the sip. Um, I think it speaks for itself. Where can I get one? Honestly, I had to uh, I had to borrow this from somebody because I wanted to wear it in the interview. Uh, I didn't know they were handing them out. I was too busy trying to find the trophy. Go to Nick. Matt, I mean, just looking big picture, y'all are sitting back at 500 now after a long season, and you get another a third bye week in five weeks. Just how have you handled this season with all the ups and downs, and how difficult has it been to get to the point where y'all are at and fighting for a winning season? Um, you know, I really just think it comes down to just being focused on those off weekends because, you know, a lot of teams across the country, they're going to be, you know, oh, we got a bye week, you know, we could slow up this week, but we, can, we, can't, we can't afford to do that because we know – what we have to do, and we have, and that's win out. When you see somebody like Tylen, who was on your side of the ball for so long, get that strip on the one yard line and force the turnover that really swung the game, what's that like for you on the sideline, just watching that play? You know, I'm really happy for Tylen, just because, you know, I I feel like I I grew with him in this process. You know, I came in with him, and he's been back and forth, slot running back, star on defense. Uh, you know, kid's an athlete, and he could just flat out play. You know, he is the definition of a football player. David, go ahead. Hey, Matt, if you will, talk a little bit about the value of having this open date coming up this coming weekend. I know you guys want to play. You're hot right now. But uh, you got two very important ball games left uh, that will kind of probably, you know, will determine how you finish this season, maybe what bowl game you go to. How do you use that to your advantage? Like I said in the beginning, just attacking everything how you usually attack, and that's 100%. Uh, you know, don't take plays off. Don't do not do anything different. Don't skip out on meetings just because, oh, we have extra days. No. When we, have extra, when we have that off week, it means we get to do more. We get to pre prepare more, and we have more time to prepare just because it gets us that much better. Back to Nick. Matt, who won the locker room celebration? Seemed like a lot of guys were having fun in there. <laughs> yeah, it was very fun in there to celebrate with my brothers. Anybody stand out with, uh, with how happy they were? Or was it just kind of a... Tom Luke. Just... My guy, Tom Luke. Yeah, I, he, he was happy for sure. He was tearing up a little bit. I, you, know, just, you know, just the relationship I have with him. When I, I, I got recruited kind of by him. You know, he was a big part of it. And, you know, just a big, genuine... You know, loving guy, really.